Suavemente. These people that you represent, whoever they are, the nuts that you find on the internet, I don't give a what they think. I don't really care what I think about me. What I care about is what God thinks about me. Charlie Potatoes, not Charlie Potatoes, not Charlie Potatoes, not Besame. Big Chrissy, you so fine, you so fine, you blow my mind. Big Chrissy, hey, hey, Big Chrissy. Nice. The super ultimate, ultimate audio visual, visual experience. experience for your viewing and listening pleasure. Thank you for tuning in. This is episode three. Episode three. What's up, bro? Nothing. I watched, I, I want I to talk about this. I watched um, The Jinx, my dad, last night. Did you see Jinx? No. What's that? Robert Durst. Robbie Durst? Yeah, he was, uh, he was a, I think, was he, I don't know if he was ever really convicted, but he was a guy, one of the, part of, was See, son, Chris, the I'm gonna have the, to, I'm going to have to cut you off, because we did the mic test like three seconds ago, mm-hmm. and you talked normally. Oh, now I'm talking lower? Now you're talking lower, so I have to adjust the levels. Oh. Well, we see, are, we're off to, this you see party why that foul. would tick me off. <laughs> party foul. We are off to it. I'm all, this is how I, this is always how I make an entrance. I always got a re, redo. Wish I could do a redo. Nah, just kidding. Killed them all. Of course. Who that's says that? The jinx? So, uh, yeah, th- that's the big reveal at the end. The whole time they're interviewing this guy who may or may not have killed his wife and other people that are mentioned throughout oh, the right. story. And then at the end, he has a hot mic on his shirt, and he goes to the bathroom, and, and he thinks the interview, you know, like the interview is over for the day. Mm-hmm. So he goes to the bathroom, and <laughs> he goes, "That's it, you're caught." And and he oh, to himself, of, he's like to talk- himself, oh, he's I talking. See. But uh, one thing I wanted you're to you're caught, say, and I remember, uh, I remember watching it like when it was new and being like so shocked. When did it come out? Uh, it came out a couple of years ago. It's it's really it's like one of the best documentary things that I've ever seen. But I was texting our friend uh, John Del Calo, uh this week. Shout out to John. Shout out to John Del Calo. And uh, one thing uh, one thing I said I was Love like, oh, you, yeah, John. the show uh, the Jinx. I'm watching it. Uh, I, I can't stop because I mentioned like their podcast, Little Stinkers. Like mm-hmm. I That's asked him, damn good podcast. Yes, yeah, it's, it's great. But I I, uh, I asked nice. him if they ever covered Durst, and, and he was like, I don't think we have. And I was like, yeah, I was just watching the show, and I can't stop doing an impression of this guy. And he goes, Is your impression just like farting while you pee? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he did at the end of the show? I never <laughs> noticed it before. I was I was so shocked by this he's like, confession. That's it. My goose is cooked. And you just and hear he a fart while he's big, you hear a big fart. A big that's rip. one of my favorite farts. Is a fart at the urinal. Yeah, a murder confession fart. Yeah, it's even oh, better. I'm caught. Honk. <laughs> meep meep. Honk. <laughs> that's that's the worst kind of fart. That's or maybe the best kind of fart. So anyway, yeah, Durst. I like when people fart but at the Durst urinal. on that show, he's such a such an evil guy. But you kind of are like compelled by him, you know. Mm-hmm. There's a part where he talks like he goes, "It's just one of those days." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just one of those days. That's but what he sounds like. He has kind of a yeah, why? And he's like sort of old New York. All these guys in it are so old New York. Like they're old. Like they mention. I'm from Westchester County, and they mention. The best yeah, Chester. I worked in uh, Westchester County Police Department for forty years. Like all these guys, <laughs> they interview. <laughs> but uh, but there there are parts where you see that. I mean, he's compelling to watch, but he's such an evil dude. You know, mm-hmm. like, kind of like you. Yeah, I'm, I'm so compelling. I'm so evil. You're so compelling, but you're twisted. But uh, everyone, know, uh, yeah, no one has yet to see my true wicked. I'm like you're Durst. Dark. You're dark side. No, but Durst. Uh, there's a part where he's talking about his missing wife's mother who they Wait, also she's interviewed she's missing or she, he killed well, her well it's presumed that it, people think that he uh, murdered her but mm. but there's uh, he's like yeah I, I never liked her mother <laughs> we were I was I just never I was so bored talking to her and you're like god this guy is so he's such a jerk and mm. then they ask him at one point his brother it's almost like succession their family like they're like a wealthy I never elite. saw that either 
Succession's good. But anyway, it's just like they're like a rich, wealthy New York City family, you know, and the brother is like the head of the family company in New York City. And he hires security after uh, his brother is like doing all these crimes, supposedly. And they ask Robert Durst, they're like, why do you think your brother hired more security after all this? And he goes, because he's your pussy. (laughs) (laughs) And he's just like, this guy... I think he did it, but I'm going to watch this whole show. Yeah, you, you still know? like him? It, yeah, it's it's hard to say because, yeah, it's it's a it's a great show though, great show. It's called Jinx. Getting jinxy with it. Why is it called Jinx? Because he mentions at one point that he doesn't, uh, he never had kids because he th- f- felt like he would jinx them, oh, which is I oddly see. enough what I said on the last episode, in a different way, but. Now you're starting Robert to see the say, parallels. I was like, yeah, I am. Maybe I am. In a couple of years, I'll be like farting in the bathroom and <laughs> killing my wife. <laughs> killed them all, of course. It's so crazy. The ending is the craziest, one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Spoiler alert. I, it is It is a spoiler, but uh, they spoiler present him alert. with evidence. They're like, what do you think of this? And then he's like, they end the, end the interview and he's like, can I go to the bathroom and walks in the first thing he said that's it you're caught <laughs> to himself <laughs> it's like if he walked in it was just like fuck yeah fuck they're gonna arrest <laughs> me for killing those guys that's it you're caught they know that i killed them but yeah no it's funny this week Rats. Uh, i was watching that and then also uh robert blake died oh yeah um, another wife killing robert the scary man from the david lynch movie yes I mean, he's your, so scary. I'm in your house. <laughs> he's so scary, but he's funny. He's another guy who's kind of scary, but you just can't help but laugh mm. at something like cause he was on CNN after his wife was killed, and uh, similar to by who Durst? No, his people think he killed Robert, Robert Blake. Oh, uh, because of, yeah, that's the guy with the gun you were talking about. Yeah, so his his alibi: his wife was shot and killed outside of a restaurant, and his alibi was uh, no, I didn't shoot her because. I went back into the restaurant to get my gun that I left mm-hmm. in there. Yeah. That was his big... Uh, That's a good excuse. Yeah. Was, he got off <laughs> with that excuse. Yeah, I just had to I had to get my gun. How could I have shot her? I didn't even have my gun on me I didn't me even have time. my gun. I didn't even have my gun. I went to go get it. But yeah, he, he he's on Piers Morgan though. And he... Robert Blake was like a 70s like... He was had a TV show Beretta. He was like kind of famous, like was almost like Burt Reynolds, like uh, like late night TV shows. Like he'd be interviewed a lot. Run the Beretta, putting all the holes in your sweater. The money getter. Mm -hmm. That's right. That was that was Robert Blake, Mm -hmm. and and uh, Bobby Blake. But Bobby Blake, the wife killer. Piers Morgan interviews him a couple years before, uh, or a couple years after his wife was killed. He's still talking like he's in like a 70s, actually more like a 50s movie. It's kind of wild to watch. He has like a little cowboy hat on and yeah, a vest. It. Yeah. You sent it to me. Maybe Johnny. I'll put that in. Wait, what's the, uh, oh, do you have your cell phone? Yeah, it's over there. Oh, rats. It's not about me, is it? Yes, it is, because you opened that door, Charlie Potatoes. And I'm not going to let, I'm not going to sit here and let you or anybody else kick the to me without defending myself and you can take that to the bank charlie fine. and if you want to show me the door that's fine too uh, i've got no interest in doing that but anyway it's piers morgan he goes uh oh, you brought that up yourself on. charlie potatoes <laughs> charlie potatoes and, and you could take that to the bank charlie <laughs> saying all these things you're Chrissy Potatoes. No, no, yeah, Chrissy Potato. He he doesn't talk like a normal person. He talks like he's an actor in a movie, kind of. And, and yeah, he's he, stuck. He's stuck. Yeah, maybe his wife sent him over the edge. And, you know, he's just a cowboy man roaming California. <laughs> Charlie Potatoes. Charlie Potatoes, I'm going to make that a thing. Just go around. You just did, dude. I know. That's the next big thing. What's up? How you doing, Charlie Potatoes? <laughs> That's like, supposed to be like an insult, me? I guess, right? Well, I guess maybe in the you're right. In context of Bobby Blake saying it, he says it's. P- imagine going on Piers Morgan, calling calling him Charlie Potatoes. 
You could take that to the bank, Charlie. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be saying that for m- months. I'm going to be saying it too. 2020, 2023 is the you year. You take of that to the bank, Chrissy. Charlie Potatoes. Chrissy Potatoes. <laughs> oh, Chrissy, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, hey. Hey, Chrissy. Big Chrissy. Yeah, that, so that's what I've been up to. I am. Um, those are the two things you've been up to. You watched Jinx and the two, Robert Blake. The two Roberts. Robert on Robert. Bobby, Bobby. That's what I was thinking about. Bobby, Bobby. Robert Blake. That's all you did this weekend? What did I do? Oh, for those for the listener, we're recording this on a Sunday, the Lord's Day. This is Oscar's uh, Day. It's Oscar Sunday. Mm-hmm. Every gay bitch's favorite day of the year. Yep. I I like Elvis. Anyone who tells you, <laughs> anyone who tells you that that Elvis movie is good is not telling the truth. I, I couldn't believe that movie when I was the audacity of that movie. Is it doesn't it have like Doja Cat? Playing? It's it's unbelievable. It's like it feels like a TikTok kid made it. You ain't nothing but a dog. Our story begins in Memphis, and then <laughs> Doja Cat starts playing, and you're expected to be like, yeah, okay, yeah. I I just and then like. I don't know. It, 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 they play, play like uh, there's like a Britney Spears mix of an Elvis song, mm. and yet this was one of the biggest movies of the. The guy's gonna win, I think. Who is the guy again? The guy who can't stop talking like Elvis. <laughs> that's his whole. <laughs> that's his, almost Blake. like his campaign um, for, for the Oscar. What's his name? Because uh, I want to say it's Adam Driver, but I know it's not. No, it's something. Uh, Aust- Austin Butler. I think that's his name. Austin. I remember seeing it when the movie. Because he came was out. he was he used to be on like kids shows. Like he was on like like uh, growing up. I remember like him. He was on like. Well, I, that's I, why I, he's getting an Oscar. Then that's what happens. You get molested enough as a little kid. And you then get they to give be you, Elvis you get now. To be Elvis, and you get an Oscar. I can't stop talking like Elvis. That, that's <laughs> every have, interview with him. You're really? like, yeah, he's he's a nutcase. I don't understand <laughs> these actors. Me neither, brother. He used to just Holly be like, weird. "Hi, it's it. great to be, it's great to be on the red carpet for now." A he's sultry. Now he's like, "Hello." <laughs> that was Smooth more Johnny Cash. Gentlemen. No, but he does. Yeah, he's like, "Yeah, it just like really affected me. It really affected me when I was working on the the, and you're the like, Elvis picture." I hate it when they call him it's, pictures. It's like if Joaquin Phoenix and the Joker was still Johnny Cash. Sean, yeah, you see this? Lego sh- <gasps> personalized Lego the, the Lego sh- Land Sean Cup. Hold up, let me blow your mind real quick. What? Let me blow your mind real quick. That's pretty. That's gangster cup. Yeah, dude, for a gangster pod. This isn't even a podcast anymore, dude. It's a sensation. Mm, it's an experience. Mm-hmm. We're giving people an experience. That's right. You're welcome. Oh, uh, but I watched. Uh, no, I was trying to think of something. I was trying to think of what I was gonna say, but uh, keep it down. That, uh, we're trying to we're trying to change some lives in here. Honk honk. Yeah, well, this is. I'm trying to give people an experience. In yeah, here. we're trying to give them an experience. Yeah, my uh, feet stink like shit, dude. Do you smell those vinegar boys? Vinegar boys. You smell like vinegar. Oh, I don't want to smell. I, I didn't smell them, and now I'm probably going to. Sorry. It's that vinegar. I think it's my slippers. They smell like vinegar? Piss and vinegar. That's all I'm full of, baby. <laughs> Salt of the earth. That's That's going to get a yikes from me. <laughs> Go ahead. Yikes. Give me a yikes. Anyway. I think you need a hat. I need a hat? No. Yeah, you want one? My head's too big for hats. No, I got a nice hat for you right there. No. I think you'd like that one. No, it's too big. I, I I look I look like a tyke whenever I put on a hat. I look like a little like a Jewish guy. No, no, no. I mean like a baby. Like like I have a big baby head oh. and then a little hat on my head. You know, <laughs> true. I, I look strange. I'm gonna get you one with a little pinwheel on top of it. Yep. Go, hey, my boss, sister got time me. to do the podcast sister- yet, boss. <laughs> Put on your hat. Shut up. <laughs> Put on your silly we're, hat. We're going to record the whole bike. I'm like, okay. <laughs> In the corner, facing the wall. I watched a good TV show. I watched, <laughs> I watched the Jinx. No, you you are good at talking about TV shows. That's why I think next week we might not be able to do a podcast. So if we don't, 
Uh, Big Chrissy is just going to talk about the Oscars. For I, an hour. I I can if that's we'll what people it, want. That's what the people are clamoring for it, dude. For the Oscars recap, yeah, the Stars, big Oscars recap, the big night. I don't I don't really like a lot of the movies. Uh, that's a sneak peek. <laughs> there is a uh, everywhere all at once. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't feeling. I feel that heard one. that was good. Yeah, a lot of people like it. I I, I think my favorites. I want Top Gun Maverick to win Best Picture. <laughs> I really do. I think that's the most deserving, fun one of the bunch. Maybe I didn't see any of Tom the Cruise movies. Is, Tom Cruise is the best. I think when people are like, yeah, but he's in a religion. With, then, uh, you know, and, and I, We're on camera, dude. Be careful what you say. I know, but I, I know. My point is I, I those people suck the fun out of all of his movies are so fun, you know? Yeah. I, yeah. Enjoy, I enjoy them. I really like Eyes Wide like, Shut. Well, oh, Eyes Wide Shut is that's one of yeah, my that's, favorites. That's a Kubrick. That's a Sean Favey. That's just, that's just kind of a spooky one. I remember watching I that movie when I came home from basketball practice one night, and it freaked me out. Gives you the heebie-jeebies. Yeah. You say, man, are people really having sex like that? Whoa, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman are a little a little crazy. Well, that's this. They, they were actually married, right? Mm-hmm. And they yeah, broke up, and then he married that other young actress. Actress. Yeah, and he jumped on the couch on Oprah's couch. Yeah. He j- well, th- they say that's because <laughs> the church made him allegedly. The church made him. The church made him like divorce Nicole Kidman and then marry uh, who is that other girl? I think it was Katie the young Holmes. Gal. Yeah, he made him marry Katie Holmes, and apparently there was a contract that was like. You only have to do this for five years. We're just trying to keep appearances up. And so yeah, he doesn't have be. like a bunch of stories written about him. We need, apparently they had auditions. He's, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen, uh, I watched the documentary uh, Going Clear about oh, yeah. Scientology. Allegedly. It's, uh, I don't know though, man. If Tom Cruise keeps making the movies he's making, I'm going to like hail Xenu in the theater. Yeah, this could be the first Scientologist gonna, podcast because I don't think they're allowed to make podcasts. I'm gonna be like, maybe L. Ron Hubbard was right the whole time when when I w see Ron Hubbard. Mission Impossible Ten, Common W. Ron Dead Hubbard. Reckoning Part. That was the best part of Avatar Two was the Mission Impossible trailer that came <laughs> before, where he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna jump this bike off a cliff," and it's like uh, the biggest. You're watching it on the biggest screen ever, and it's awesome. <laughs> I love you. Love Tom Cruise. Well, I I also I think the people who, for the people who make his movies too have to be badasses, you know, because they're not going to be like. Man, we make the it, we make the worst podcast in the world. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I, <laughs> I just, just thought that'd be funny to say. I just <laughs> you, you love. I really couldn't care less about any of those movies, to be honest. No, I don't. I mean, I don't. I, I enjoy them, you know. I just no, I don't like them. You well, know? I don't really watch them. I don't. Yeah, that's all right. I just you feel passionately about it though. Yeah, well now I don't. If you if it was bad, no, it's not bad. It's good. It's not you that's bad. It's me that's bad. No, I, I well if if you say you're saying we're making a bad po- podcast, I just think it's funny to say I'm this gonna is the worst to podcast you. in the world. It's it's the worst I think one. That's a good tagline. The worst podcast in the world, but it's the super ultimate audio visual experience. Exactly, and it's a sensation. It's an auditory. Uh, it, oh, it's like more of like an ex- yeah. I know it's what an you experience. mean. Experience. It's you know. But does it mean it's good? Is that yeah, what we don't want to get into that. <laughs> we don't want to get too good. No, we don't want to get too good. We want to no. stay where we are right now. Yeah. No, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of wanted. I, I want to get good. You know. Think yeah, we could. Maybe we'll get we'll good dabble, someday. We'll dabble in the good. Yeah, we'll dabble in the good, but. Right now, why does gotta... it feel so good? So good to be bad. <clears throat> Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible <clears throat> Ten is coming out. No, I was just exaggerating. Oh, I think, oh, I see. I think, um, I think it's well, actually, I think it's like eight. It's but they're Ocho. but they're making it two parts. It's it's crazy. Two part Mission Impossible Eight. Yeah, and he's like. Yeah, I'm gonna jump off a, a cliff. I'm, I'm gonna ride a, a motorcycle out of a plane for this one. And you're like, do it, dude. He's trying to kick the bucket, I think. Maybe. He Maybe might he's have trying like to die. a stuntman's death. Mm. 
But I was just saying, I it's think a good way to go. I think the people who make them are badasses though too, because you can't, Tom Cruise can't hire like a guy who's like, yeah, don't know, eh, it seems a little dangerous, mm-hmm. you know, like you can't. You need <clears> a dude who's like, yeah, Tom, oh, that guy's crazy. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> there goes Tom again. <laughs> He's doing another one just for fun. This guy. <laughs> Yeah. Smack right into that mountain. I hope not. I love Tom. Yeah, he is gonna have a wily e. coyote death. He's gonna like drive. I hope. I hope not. I mean, I hope he can. Yeah, but that would be. Yeah, yeah. Splat. There's a photo of like yeah, an the set, dropped and on it's his like head. just a, a, a Tom Cruise imprint in like a wall. Yeah, that's what he's doing, dude. He's turning himself into a Looney Tune. Yeah, it could be. eventually he's gonna just be like in movies with falling pianos, and I think he's gonna do a movie in space, if I'm not mistaken. Boy, yeah, I think that's that's happening. Whoa, I don't know. I think he's cool anyway. We we don't have to. No, we can keep talking about Tom. No, I'm sorry. I said the podcast was bad. It's not your fault. It's my fault. No, I I, I was just I was passionate. I was into my words, I guess. And then I know I should. It was bad timing. It was bad timing. Now now I now I think I am bad. No, you're not bad. That was actually good. I can listen to you talk about media all day. <laughs> I'm serious. We'll see. We'll see if they can. We'll see. Oh, if they're they, not gonna like this episode. They're gonna say, "Man, you uh, guys suck." No, what? I thought we were do- doing. We were doing Durst. We were doing Blake. I'm about to break. I'm about. I'm to, about to Blake. I'm about to Blake. <laughs> Everything you I'm say about to, to Blake. Me. Charlie Potatoes. <laughs> oh yeah, that was good. I'm all about right, to Blake. We, we are cooking. Hold up, let us cook. I'm about to Blake. <laughs> you could guy. take that to the bank, Charlie. <laughs> AKA Charlie, aka Piers Morgan. Please watch it. I think it's from 2013. I think the video is just called Robert Blake Goes Crazy on Piers Morgan. Yeah, well, let's throw to that right now. What time is it? All right. 21 minutes. All right, ready? All right. Oh, <laughs> damn. What the hell? I don't know. I thought that was funny. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, all right. Now let's actually throw to it. No, you're going to trick me again. No, I'm not. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. It's not about me, is it? Yes, it is, because you opened that door. Charlie Potato. But I'm not going to let, I'm not going to sit here and let you or anybody else kick the out of me without defending myself. And you can take that to the bank, Charlie. Fine. Beep, beep, beep. No, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to smack I'm you. I'm vulnerable. I know. Why are you so sensitive today, man? I'm not sensitive. You, were, you, you wore were... that sweater. Now you're in your fuzzy feelings. <laughs> you're fuzzy yeah. wuzzy. My fuzzy wuzzy feel, <laughs> my fuzzy feelings. My feelings are hurt. I'm in my fuzzy feelings. Um, my fuzzy feelings, Ella. Yeah, I'm sorry for saying the podcast was bad. It's not your fault. I think it's, it's okay. My fault. It's our pod. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna make it through. And I hope. I think the, we will too. And I think the gang will will enjoy. It. I'm gonna call them the gang. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna talk like Robert Blake now. I'm just gonna use old timey <laughs> like. And then we're gonna we're gonna be big stars. <laughs> we are gonna down be at, big stars. Down at the old down <laughs> at the old club. Yeah. Charlie Potatoes. We're gonna be working every nightclub. Hey. <laughs> Give it up for my opener, Charlie Potatoes. Yeah. It's just like an old timey comedy club. Yeah, we hey, should folks, be like cat name, skills comedians. My name is Robert Blake. <laughs> Some of you may know me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what we have to do. We have to wear a little cowboy hats. Yeah, and we should be like uh, cut, like cut off vests. Act. That's what I'll be. I'll be your ventriloquist dummy, and you can <laughs> shove your hand up my ass and do jokes. That would be insane. We should do that. Two guys who tour, and there's a guy who just puts it's his, a real person puts his arm up his friend's ass every <laughs> night. <laughs> Fucking. That would be that. Yeah, would, that would be, be quite. A, I think people would start going. You hear this guy puts his <laughs> puts his arm up this Dude, guy's we'd be ass. The talk of the town. Every we'd be big night. stars. Uh, no, You're I don't. Be a star. Kid. I would never do that. I would never. Yeah, I would never do that either. That would that would be too much. That would be too much. That'd be a lot to. But it's ask. fun to joke sometimes. Oh no, I know. Um, I know. You ever just... see a ventriloquist in real life? I don't think I ever have. Have you? No, and I don't think I'd like it. I. No. 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 I. I don't know. Unless. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would like because I was just I just thought unless the guy's really good, <laughs> but even if he was, well, I've seen videos of Otto and George before. That's kind of funny. What's you know Otto that and guy, George? The comedian. That I don't would think do, so. He is like a comedian who was a ventriloquist, and then I forget which was which now because I'm a dumbass idiot. 
Oh, so but the puppet would like say mean shit to people. Mm. It's like a dirty. It's comedian. probably probably a puppet. Otto. Otto is like a. No, that's why I think the puppet was George. Oh, yeah, because it's kind of funny that way, you know. I never. I don't think I've ever met an Otto. Have you? No. Usually, yeah, it sounds like something you name a puppet, but maybe that was the guy, and then George. Yeah, was... I think that was kind of a, the joke in itself. Mm. But I'm probably wrong, and people are gonna call me a dumbass, fucking idiot for it now. No. No. <laughs> No. I guess it is so hard. <laughs> I uh It is I think we we should have got a star studded guest on think this. Podcasting episode. is hard? Oh my god, it's the hardest thing in the world. I don't know. It's I harder think, than giving think, birth. Harder than giving birth, you think? Mm-hmm. I think it's harder <sighs> than like it's the hardest job in the world. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have it so hard. We slave away all day in the podcast factory. Yeah. Going. Nobody knows the trouble <laughs> I seen. Nobody knows Nobody my listens. Nobody <laughs> listens to our podcast. They call us gay on the internet <laughs> and it hurts my feelings. I uh, yeah. And it's just like the guys at the top have like all the fun and then there's a lowly worker who has a little podcast. Oh hum. Another we day so. at the podcast factory. Yeah. It's like a bunch of Eeyores walking around. Yeah, a bunch of us's. Oh. Going, woe is me. Uh, my One day podcast I'll make it. doesn't do very well. <laughs> Each day I try and try. And my toiling away. friends and family still <laughs> make fun of me. <laughs> Every moment of my wife. <laughs> Uh, twy and twy each day yeah my, my my you know this is i guess this is like a week that everyone comes back home for the for spring break like it's like a break week every, every so every kid comes home and is mean to their family yikes i'm a little spicy i'm a little pissed <laughs> my sister pissed me off i know you told me oh <sighs> What the hell? She's she's sassing you, dude. She's sassing us, sassing me about the pod. I know she's a hater. She is a, a hating ass sister. Say join the club. She is a hating ass sister. A hating ass sister. And I wish, I don't wish bad upon her, but I wish that she would just listen <laughs> listen to the pod and and realize and 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 see. She'll never understand. See you. what we're creating. She'll never understand what we're going through. You, she'll never know how hard. How hard, How it, hard is. it always is. Slaving away. I try and try. <laughs> and still my podcast is not the best. <laughs> All I want is for... Just to have a big, great podcast. I want podcast. the best podcast. Oh, my God. I so have sad. to go to the factory. <laughs> and I watch as the podcasters <laughs> do better than mine. <laughs> I try... I want to be funny on the mic- <laughs> on the microphone. It's so fun to say words like that. I'm just gonna yeah, talk like, like that. I've been doing that a lot lately. Hello, how are you? Well, that there's little, this that guy. That was a little accented. I, I oh. did a little British. Hello, a little British. great to be here at the comedy factory. <laughs> the comedy anyway, podcast I'm sorry, factory. What were you saying? Uh, it just reminds me of this guy I went to school with. His name was <laughs> Gallucci, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, this like my friend had an older sister mm-hmm. who was like a camp counselor so she knew him and she would always go have you seen <laughs> Gawuchi because that's how he talked oh. and then it would be like oh that's not that's not fair to that like, kid Gawuchi I gotta go to my Wako that's what she <laughs> Wako. <would> say. <laughs> he say, Waka Waka <laughs> exactly <laughs> And then I don't feel bad uh, making fun of him anymore because he got arrested for sexually assaulting a girl. Oh. Allegedly. Gawuchi. Yeah, Gawuchi wapes somebody. Going to jail. Yeah, he wapes somebody. Oh, no. Now he's going to jail. Yeah, I'm going to jail because I wape to go. Andrew, the L in his name and then to have the Gawuchi. That's that's unfortunate. Yeah, he had a little Gawuchi. And then he wapes somebody and now he's in prison. Prison. (laughs) Now I'm in prison. Him and like fucking three other dudes. He's in the podcast. He's with. in the podcast factory with us. Yeah, I know. He's sentenced to 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 you years in the podcast to the factory. Podcast factory. <laughs> Each day I try and try. Nobody knows the trouble I see. Wait, so but you're uh, you're going on the road this week, right? What do you? Oh what? yeah. 
that's that's gonna be that's who are you going with? Wouldn't you like to know, dude? Oh, I was just asking. <laughs> I'm just you were telling me, and I was. I'm I was, going with my friend Noel. Oh, that's right. That'll be great. Yeah. So me and Noel's bringing me to Portland, and then I think we go to Boston. Portland. Oh Boston. no! And then we think we go to Connecticut, and then we go to Philly, which will be fun. Or yeah. then we go to New York. Where are you, and then what, we go what to are you doing in Philly? The, the Kimmel Center. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I'm scared though. Mm. Well. Just be like, hello, I'm this scared. is my first time at the Kimmel Center. <laughs> <laughs> it is, what a great time to be here. Hello, Kimmel Center. <laughs> yeah. Make some noise for Noel Ken- Miller. <laughs> hello, Kimmel Center. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope that's fun. How are you guys doing tonight? That was a little... I keep trying to do I keep throwing a British Hello Cheerio Cheerio that'll, No that'll be awesome too. I hope so yeah, yeah. Uh, My family's coming to that one uh, So that'll be nice And then uh, Yeah I gotta do I had like a week on tour bus Which would be That's a new tour thing bus. I've never done before I didn't I One time I took a bus Around <laughs> the, the, the country With the some guys it was like travel basketball we took a bus around to tournaments bang bus <laughs> no 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 one of our uh one of my old teammates his little brother was on the bus with us and he his was little like brother yeah he was a little kid but he would like rap to us like Yo. We, we, would, we would hype him up on the bus he's whapping there's a cat on a mat <laughs> and he's eating a rat. Yeah, we'd be, like, be like, "Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah." That is awesome. I remember that. That was a fun. Yeah, that was a fun trip. And then, yeah, yeah those were those were good days. We, we were. Uh, I think we were the Where House of Sports. The time go? The House of Sports in in Ardsley, New York. We would play oh. there, but then we, they would call us the Hose. Let's go, Hose. Damn, get it? We were the Hose, bitch ass ho ass. Nah, that those were, that was fun. I just thought of that. I haven't I haven't thought about that in a while. But yeah, we we would hype up. You and your host. There's a cat on a mat, <laughs> <laughs> and he's eating a rat. <laughs> ah! Throwing us the Dr. Seuss bars. True. <laughs> we were, he was spitting. We were like, yeah, yeah. That's the best. That's the best to hype up a kid. True. When they're like just. Or just to interact, like just to engage them, like to, to like feed their ideas when they're just riffing, you know? Like there's a video of me when I'm a little boy. Uh, I was all sweaty at like a family function. I sweaty looked, at the function. I just had, I, like, you know, like you get outfits as a kid. Like, you're, like your parents like try to put you together and then you just look like, like Mayor Rob Ford walking around <laughs> your house. You're just big sweaty kid, you know? <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah and then there's a home video of me, and I'm like, I had a nightmare. <laughs> and, and my uncle's like, What was your nightmare? And he's like, My, I'm like, My, I, I, I had to take a blood test, and, and then my, my teacher bit me. Oh, and yeah. then I, I turned into a pizza. Damn. That, that was like my, like, I just like recited it. And my it's uncles, are, my uncles were like, They're like, Wow, that's crazy. Like, they're just like letting me go, you know? Yeah. Those are the best kind of, like, just let a kid yeah, letting like a kid go just say whatever he wants yeah, it's just like man that sounds cr- so i love hearing kids uh, no way like when kids like complain about their day that's the funniest <laughs> thing to me yeah. like their their lives are so hard like yeah, yeah i had to go out. i had to run around at recess and like <laughs> that was my friends are yeah, just it's like guys i can't like and you're like all right just yeah i'm sorry Take a nap, drink some apple juice, <laughs> get back out there, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's tough uh, being a kid. Uh, sometimes. I, I, I used to, so sometimes, you know, you think about when people say like, uh, like the simpler times. Oh, are you, oh, is that my bad? I was just. You making a move? No, I was just put my arm there. Yeah, I guess that's bad. That's fucked up. <laughs> Fuck. No, I'm Shit. just kidding, dude. I'm sorry. That was, that was bad. No, but, uh. No, but I think back to like yeah, you're throwing up those vinegars at me. <laughs> Keep them down there. I don't want to get vinegar. Please. Go but, on. Uh, but the um, 
you know, when you're when you're like in high school, oh, now you're doing it. That's fine. I, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> or I'm, I am comfortable. You were really uncomfortable, so I moved it. But I'm I'm no, see, that's weird. Now we're this is very weird. Now I'm now I am uncomfortable. Don't touch me. For the listener, I'm touching Christian. Get your, get your, get your grubby little little hands, hands off. off me. Oh, you know what? I always one time uh, I heard like a dad. I I can't remember the context, but I heard a dad talking to a kid. And he was like, you're dirty little fucking dick beaters. <laughs> it's like, yo, God, you're dick beaters away that's from a, me. Yeah, that's a brutal. I don't like I don't like that at all. Dick beaters. Yeah. No, but what I was going to say was like when you're a kid, they, people always talk about like the simpler times. I never felt that they were simple at all. You know, like. Yeah, I felt uh, like yeah, they were like, very like high school. Like, like high school was like a dark, like complex experience for me you know yeah i don't know but but everyone goes you think back or people yeah, think back and they're like that was those are just the, the, those are the best times of your life i was like i'm always like i don't know i don't know that i get that too though like i had a lot of good friends and nice memories yeah i guess <laughs> maybe i don't maybe i'm just looking back at the void no i'm sure you have good memories the high school abyss no but i just mean like you're processing a lot at that age and you're not like I don't know if they're simple times at all. I think they're like. Mm. They're, I think what they mean by that is just like you don't have to you pay don't have bills. To, yeah, yeah. I guess so. And worry about like being homeless. Yeah, I guess you don't have. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Maybe dying. I'm, I'm, you really I'm, don't worry about dying. You don't die. You don't worry. Yeah. I guess I worried about death. I worried about death in high school. Yeah, me too. I've always worried <laughs> about death. I was always worried about death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Well, you don't have to. But I was prone to just being like, this is bad. Yeah, once you find out about it, it's pretty hard to not think about. About death, yeah. Yeah, a lot of kids died my senior year of high school. A lot of people died. It was weird. Why? Because the, they were teasing you? <laughs> no. So a lot of people you, are going to die. You'll see. You'll all see. <laughs> Soon you'll all see. <laughs> no. No, I wasn't. Oh. No one, no one died at my hand. <laughs> Not then, at least. I know you couldn't hurt a fly. Then I went on to college, and you know, then I got to work. <laughs> no, quirk, I'm joking. Quirk, of quirk, course, quirk, I'm quirk, not quirk. a murderer. <laughs> I, I am not. <laughs> uh, are you are you stimming or hitting yourself? I learned from our last episode. I'm I'm I'm. Uh, I, I know more about the. The stimming. Remember? We were talking about a mm. friend Darius. Yeah, we were talking about our dear friend Darius. Tater tot. Tater tot. We haven't done that yet this episode. I haven't really been screaming much gibberish. Yeah, I don't know. Do you think we... I don't... Maybe we... Maybe I think it's... Uh, I think it might be better that we don't. Or people... Some people uh, like like that we do that. But I think some people don't. Yeah, some people get really mad about it. They're like, God damn it. Enough. Sorry, guys. I know it's enough with the noises. Just two guys having fun. I Sorry. can't stop. I can't stop saying "being chilling." Once Sorry. I start. Sorry, you're, you. Sorry, we're just. Some people have those things, though. You know, like like little. Oh. Someone's here. Someone's knocking at the door. Oh, I just realized the camera has been plugged in this whole time. Hello. Hasn't been plugged in, but is it? It's running. Yeah, it's running. Is your camera running? Well, you better go catch it. Oh, I'm joking. That's a that's a camcorder. <laughs> it's a camcorder. That's not a camera at all. I'm plugged in. We're plugged in. Yeah, I'm. I guess you could say I'm always pretty plugged in. I'm plugged in. Um, what have you been up to? Uh, I feel like I've been talking a lot. Past. No, that's good. No, it's not good. It's never it's good. It's good to talk too much. I think it's good. Um, uh, I haven't been up to much. I was in Philly yesterday. That was fun. Uh, Delph. Did you, oh, did you actually, it made me think of uh, another murderer, uh, the 
There's a new Netflix thing about uh, the the south, the guy in the south. Uh, it's like the head of a family. What's his name? Yeah, I don't uh, know that fucking. I've heard about it a little bit. It's pretty terrible. I only heard about it because it's red haired gentleman, right? Yeah. He looks, so they're yeah. like, oh, red haired gentleman. Say, like, guys, we don't all look the same. Please. Guys, I am not a murderer so like that offensive. man. You guys. It's so offensive, honestly, when people just bring up like red haired people to us, mm. you know? It happens, yeah. Yeah. I, I accuse I them so of offended. I accuse them of do uh, hate crimes. Me too. I'm like, guys, this is Do you want to go to jail? You're profiling. Do you want to go to jail? <laughs> I will fucking call the cops on you right now. I will call my redheaded fr- friend in the south who who killed his whole family. <laughs> Cuz that's what he was. He was a lawyer. Doesn't he have like a funny name too? I'm forgetting his name. I know it's Isn't uh, it like Doofit is some like I can't remember now. I forget his name too. But um yeah, all those true crime I I will say the jinx if, if you're listening to this, watch the jinx. It really is excellent, excellently made show. Don't touch my knee. Jinx, you owe me a soda. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a knee touch. That'd be funny if that was what the show was about. They They're interview, saying something at the same time. No, they interview a, a, a guy who like might have killed a lot of people, but he just keeps going, Jinx. <laughs> They're like, this guy's crazy. <laughs> this guy might have done it. Did you do it? I don't know. Did you Jinx? <laughs> <laughs> Now you can't talk until he I say He kept trying to jinx us. And that was when we had to bring out the evidence against him. <laughs> You're caught. And then he goes to the bathroom. I kept trying to jinx them. And then <laughs> they, they, now I'm going to jail. <laughs> Killed them all. Of course. That's what, that was the big line from the show. <clears throat> Killed them all. Of course. Of course. But now now whenever I'm in that scene, I just hear him go. He does a little big fart. And then he goes. Uh, he just like a little <gasps> bathroom old man moan. Really? Yeah. He, <laughs> that's it. You're caught. <laughs> it's true. Beast. You watch it. It's, it's a very. Yeah. Uh, that's a beast. It's a good show. He's a beast. He's a dog. He's a motherfucking problem. Well, I, was, I was watching okay, it with my dad. Doing, was I, going to? I, got I was watching like, it with my dad, and he was like, don't go back. These guys are going to try to get him. And I was like, what, you want him to... You want him to escape? You want him to escape? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you were going, was I going to a goblin? I don't, I don't like my wife's mother... I don't like talking to her. She always read magazines about canning. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> I don't care about canning. I don't either. Honestly, and then, and then I cut to this sweet old lady who's about. like, he was never very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's so sad. But that's so what mean? happens with all these women who like disappear. And it's such a tragic story. Their mothers always live to be like 100. <laughs> yeah. And they're never, they're never going to get over their missing daughter. Yeah, that sucks. They're just like 100 in their house. Like, I just wish someone would come forward. Please. Oh, I did it. I did it again. God. I get, I get, I, you know, I'm facing this way. Sorry. I'm, I'm, now I'm. <laughs> get your hand away. I'm sorry. I keep touching you this episode. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird and bad. That's it's what, not weird. No, no, I keep thinking about That's what friends do, dude. We I, touch each other. I guess. But one my, my sister my sister was getting me again. I, I have to I have to discuss it because it's really like it pissed me off right, so I much. I think we're gonna put this one on the Patreon though. Really? Do you wanna let loose? Yeah. Alright. I'd like to. I think it's I think it would be would good. Would you rather put it on the Patreon then? No, oh, well, we, I thought we were having fun. We are having fun, dude. Why is this on the... I'm not going to... Oh, no. I'm not going to, like, call her names. I'm just going to tell her what... Because it actually has to do with, like, us... I keep, you know, hearing about what people are saying about the podcast, and I want to, like, change everything I, I, I am and do, you know? Mm. Like, uh, my sister said she showed it to her friend, and she was like, are they, like, dating? <laughs> and I was like, Did no. Did yes? No, I was like, no. We are just talking. She was like, yeah, but you, like... You guys like look at each other and like, and I was like, what the, f- what are you what talking about? What else are we about? supposed to do? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just be like this the whole time. Like this. 
Ha 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 ha. We're not F- dating. Fun times with friends talking. <laughs> fun times with platonic friends that aren't in gay. In the podcast factory. Uh, that is that is a thing, the podcast factory. It's a metaphor, metaphorical I know, I thing. slave away know? in it every day. All the... Uh, all these comics and people just in the podcast factory l- looming, walking around. Oh, another day. Another day, another uh, dollar. Another episode of the fun podcast. Everyone, please listen to my podcast, <laughs> please. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Don't make fun of my podcast, please. I'm so mad that your sister's friend thought we were gay. I thought that, I thought that was outrageous. What's was, your name? Doxer. No, I'm not. I don't know. I, I I know that I'll never be friends with her. When I meet her, I'm gonna be like, <sighs> get get big mad. I was big mad. My sister last night. She was you're like, big, yeah, but you guys, you're big pissy. You guys, big pissy Chrissy, big Chrissy pissy, big pissy Chrissy on the microphone. <laughs> I'm big mad. <laughs> big mad at my hey, big yo. mad at little sis. <laughs> Charlie Potatoes. That's that's who I call Charlie Potatoes. Your sis? Yeah. I go, don't listen to the podcast, and you could take that to the bank, Charlie. <laughs> big mad. You big maddie. I um I showed uh my friend uh Alex uh Alex Lucarini. Shout out Alex. Alexander we Lucarini. Watched, uh, we watched J C V D this week. Jean Claude Van Damme. Jean Claude Adam, I'm an actor. Hello, Mr. Sean. <laughs> My name is Jean Claude Van Damme. I love I love Jean Claude Van Damme. He did a movie with Dennis Rodman in the '90s. I know. I just saw you got that on DVD. Mm-hmm. Did you watch that with Alex eBay, Lucarini? eBay purchase. No, I watched it. Just watched it at home. And uh, movies used to be like very fun. They they were in the very nineties and and kind of bad, but John John Claude Van Damme is like objectively pretty bad in that movie. But he's mm. fun to watch, you know. Like his wife, he's in his house with his wife, and he's like, I cannot wait for us to have our baby. <laughs> I love you so much, and I will never do crime again. <laughs> and then of course he gets a call like, Jean Claude, we need you to we do need crime. you to do crime. You're, <laughs> you're our number one guy. You're number one. Oh, no, you're but I have to criminal. leave my family. My new family. Does he do it though? He does do it. To commit crimes with Dennis Rodman. He has to kill a guy. Actually, the guy in it is, um, you know, the actor Mickey Rourke. Oh, yeah. Mickey Rourke. Weird. He comes in as the villain in oh, that movie. Oh, Mickey, you're so fun. You're so fun. You blew my like, mind. Big cool, Chrissy. I'm cool guy. I'm just cool guy villain. I have no, there's no, I don't, I don't get a lot of characterization, but I'm just here to be cool and fight. He's cool in fights. And Jean Claude Van Damme is like. I have to take you down, and then I will return to my family. Who I love very much. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jean Claude Van Damme. He's he's sort of like in the same way that I like like Keanu Reeves, you know, like in that that ilk of like you know something likable about them, even though they're like maybe questionable as actors. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> you love Jean Claude Van Damme. I like. Did you see the new John Wick? Is like three hours long. No, I haven't seen any of the John Wicks. They're fun. They're, I like those movies. <laughs> I hope I hope people who listen know what I mean. I just this about is about John Wick. This or is about my this is my 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 autist brain. And this is more. You can expect more like the more shit like this flying out of my head if you listen to. The big Oscars recap. The big Chrissy Oscars recap. The big Chrissy Oscars recap. Where yeah, it's gonna I, I'll be going through the biggest night of stars and films. We're going to break the internet. And break. Consider the internet hashtag broken. Hashtag break the internet. Internet, consider yourself broken because big Chrissy's about to review the Oscars. Oh. And wait till you hear the type of shit he's about to say. Be like, this one's bad. This one's bad. I like uh, what was I'm the trying banshees to think? of inner Sheeran. Did you see that? No, I I enjoyed that one. I haven't seen any of them. Yeah, they, they don't, you're not missing much. That's the thing. I I, uh, I want to see one with Woody Harrelson. I like Woody Harrelson. Did you see Woody Harrelson on SNL? Yeah, yeah, Beast. 
He, I don't know. That, I, I think SNL told, wrote that for him. I think people might be, yeah, like re- reading too much into it. It seemed like he was just, he, he did like an overlong monologue and then he was like, well, the, we got a great show. Like he just like. Yeah, he just like kind of bombed. Yeah, that's okay. He, I love. He broke the internet, actually. Yeah, a lot of people were it's talking like, hold about up. it. Let me break the internet real quick. He's he's great. Woody. He is great. Woody was in you. Oh, we, we alluded to it. I don't know if we ever fully talked about your movie. Uh, oh, oh, we did. We did, actually. Uh, this is, this no, is no Country. Anton Chigurh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, Woody's in that. He's so good in that. Flip the coin. Hit, call it. Call it. Yeah, I want to see No Country for Old Men, but it's Robert Durst, Robert Blake, <laughs> and uh, Robert Goulet. And John claude Van Damme. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> who's who's the Josh Brolin of that bunch? Uh, Jean Claude probably. Oh no, they're after me. <laughs> I found this mysterious money. <laughs> Who's going to find me? This mysterious money. <laughs> and then uh, is Durst Sugar or Robert Blake? I think it might be Blake. Yeah, he's scarier for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Flip the coin, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Just going around calling people Charlie Potatoes, shooting people. Yeah, we did talk about that. that that's I got to watch that again. Yeah, I love that flick. Oh, shout out to Nate. Nate mentioned a movie, uh, City of God. Oh, that's right. Which I uh, got a copy of on eBay to watch again because you can't oh. find it anywhere. So shout out to Nate. Find I, it? I don't know. I just I, I looked at it. I actually, I, I I bought it by mistake one night. And I was like, ah, I just, it was, it was cheap. And, and then it was just like a fun, I'll have a fun movie night. And that movie really is great. Mm. City of God. Um, I wouldn't know. I don't watch movies. I don't consume media. What are you, yeah, I guess. What, what are, are you watching stuff lately? No? Did no, you, pretty much you, all I do is. Did uh, you watch Last of Us? Are you up oh, to date? Oh yeah, on, I'm up to date on that. I, I'm not. I, I, uh, I'm didn't like you play halfway the video? through. I did play the video game a long time ago. The video. One thing I will say, I understand why they made it a, a show from the the game. Mm-hmm. It's that a good story. It's a good story, but I always wish they made an Uncharted movie. Oh, you see, I never, I never played either of them. But they, the thing is, they oh, did. They did was it Wahlberg it was, in it? It was terrible. Was that Wahlberger? Wahlberg, yeah. But he wasn't the main. The lead was Designer that. Designer Omigami Drip Drip. The, the lead was that kid that everyone likes. Uh, Tom Holland? He's no good, that, that guy. Spider-Man. He's just Spider-Man. And he's you just, should be Spider-Man. He's a little bo- cutish boy that people like, but he's not. He's got nothing. Yeah, there's a lot of lesbians. He's just. There's a scene not, of him shaking drinks like he's a bartender. And he's like, I'm cool. hey, I'm cool. He's sexy. And I'm like, no, you're he's not. He's cool and sexy. You're not that good. Yeah, a lot of male. and then Mark Wahlberg <laughs> comes in as like the mentor guy, and I'm like, why? What is? It was just not a good, great movie. It felt like a like a porn, like a softcore porn movie. At yeah, times. I didn't watch it. It looked really bad. It's on Netflix. Don't watch it. <laughs> no, no, no. That's a big Chrissy warning. That's warning. Yeah, I would, I watched that, and I was like, nah, because the, well, the thing is, the games are excellent. They're like almost like modern uh, Indiana Jones kind of stories you know but they're dun, 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 dun. they're good uh, speaking of Indy they're making another one of those too old. Harrison Ford gonna be in it he's so old he's yeah, so old. old I mean I want I'm gonna probably go see it but in the trailer he's just like ah. it's like <laughs> it's like watching like Joe Biden like it's like this guy yeah or Pacino <laughs> yeah Pacino now. Pacino Jones <laughs> Where's the oh. Where's the amulet? <laughs> I'm looking for the, the amulet. I'm looking for the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> if you don't have it, I'm gonna whip you. Give it to me. If you don't have it, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take your gun out of your hand, out of my your hand with my whip. <laughs> and I'm gonna put on my cool hat <laughs> because my name is Indiana Jones. <laughs> That's Pacino. As that would be a good. That would I would I would see that. I would see that if too. suddenly it was Al Pacino instead of Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford's just like had to pass the reins to a, a fellow respected actor, mm-hmm. and Al just came in with a whole new take, and he's just like, bah! A new <laughs> twist on an old yelling. classic. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. It, so what do you think of Last of Us? Well, I like The Last of Us, but I want to clarify that I called Tom Holland a lesbian. Oh, you called him a le- Oh, you think he's a lesbian? No, well, I think there's like a new trend of like boys that look like lesbians. Uh, like him kind. and Chalamet. Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. He kind of looks like a lesbian, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess, yeah, they have the, yeah, I guess they have like, you know. They have like female f- features. F- feminine qualities, maybe. I don't know. I guess I don't think about it so much. I'm not like. I can't stop thinking about it. I go, man, I want to <laughs> fuck that guy's ass. Man, that guy. Man, that guy looks like he kisses that nice. Guy, he looks like a lesbian. <laughs> yeah. This is the first openly gay podcast. You, so you think you you do think about it? You um, think about kissing Tom Holland and, and Chalamet? No, I haven't thought about it before. Now I am, but mm. Chalamet. I I actually I like his sister. I've seen a, his who? sister's got big jugga juggas. Who? Chalamet's. I don't know his sister. She's in this awful. Uh, What's her name? I forget. Uh, Something Chalamet. Um, Amelie, Amelie I Chalamet. Forget. And Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Hello, my name is. I don't know what her name is. It's now. weird that they remember. have all these like floaty French names, but I think he's just an American guy from New York, and he's like, and girls are like, "Yo, Timote," and I'm like, yeah, "Timo." Yeah, it's Timothy. I think that's t- just Timothy. Yeah, his name's Timothy, and his parents were rich as hell, so mm. now he went to a French school or something. Yeah, but his sister has big jug of juggas and she's in this HBO show that I saw. What's the show? It's called The Secret Life of College Girls or something. Mm. It's like the worst thing I've ever mm. seen. Have you never seen it? I never made fun of it with you? No. It's oh. like the worst show in the mm. world, dude. We should actually talk about it on the next one, though, because we're, we're almost at an hour. Oh, okay. And I'm going to... I can talk I about the oh, show for days. I've been talking about the secret lives of college girls. The for secret sex a life. Long time. I think it's like the secret sex if, life. If you know me, you know me. You know about my secret lives with college girls. I'll no. tell you no, my I'm, dirty little secret. I think I know the show. I've seen the seen it in passing. Maybe like I, I haven't watched it, but I, I know I've heard the name. It's like the worst show ever. But I watched all of it with my <laughs> friends, and we just go, you man, watched, this show is so episode, bad. Man, the whole time this show is so bad we're gonna watch every 45 minute yeah, episode we do nice now watch it with throw it on oh i shouldn't say that wait i shouldn't hold on 56 what's that what i have to pee so bad all right do you want to well, on, on the on the on the patreon we'll, we'll get into I think the, this should be the patreon what do you think you think this should be the regular yeah all right we'll see all right We'll see what happens in post. We'll see. Either way, in post, we'll check it out in post. We'll check it out in post. In post, we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. But, but yeah, regardless, I I whether that. this is the Patreon or the regular, thank you all for tuning into yes. the first openly gay podcast on the internet. Mm-hmm. I'm Sean. This is my husband, Big Chrissy. Hello. This is our our bond. We're openly. We're the first openly gay podcast on the internet. Yep. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> thank you all very much for listening. Sorry, we did a lot of self doubt again in this one. That was my fault, I think. Yeah, you, yeah, you right, in my, right when I was talking, you were like, "This sucks." And I, know, I was that's like, "That's why well, I like to put it." I think we should put it on the Patreon for that reason because I feel kind of bad about that. All right, that whatever. was that was stupid of me. Whatever I'm, you want to do. I'm sorry about it that. It does. I mean, I, I on the inside, yes, but on the outside, I I, I will maintain that. Uh, this is good. <laughs> yeah, we have to just keep lying and saying <laughs> yeah. it's good. Um, but on the inside, yeah, you don't have to tell me because it's all yeah, it's all that's playing in my head as I talk about. I like Tom Cruise. No, that was good. I stuff. like Tom Cruise, dude. If you didn't talk about I'm Tom podcast, Cruise, we would have po- talked about podcast nothing. Factory. We're yeah, the, that's what you do. Sometimes you just got to clock sometimes in, you just, clock out. We're we're just in the podcast factory. Get and, it done. Uh, and. It, we're we're getting chewed up and spit out. I know. Well, this we're, is we're making it, biz. but we're gonna. You know, thank you for listening because yeah, you guys we love you so much. You guys know. You guys know what it is. You know, some people don't yet. They'll but find out. They'll see. One day they'll all they'll see. All, see. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for listening to Charlie the Super Potatoes. Ultimate Audio Visual Experience with Christian and Sean for your viewing and listening, listening pleasure. pleasure. The I super hope you enjoyed it. I think this was a pretty good one. Audio visual experience. And you could take that to the bank, Charlie. <laughs>
Big Chrissy, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Big Chrissy, hey, hey, Big Chrissy. Shout out Robert Durst, Robert Blake, Robert Goulet. all of our fallen Roberts, our, our, our captivating Roberts, even though you, you might have uh, killed your wife. Your, your secret, those secret lives of Durst and, and Blake, that, 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 that's, a, boy. that's an HBO show right there. True. Anyway, yeah. All right. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Um, goodbye. Peace. Peace. Thank you. 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.